hello everyone uh, welcome to this new video so before we proceed further i would like to walk you people through my whatsapp channel so this is a channel that i've created uh, and i'm mainly and constantly posting off campus opportunities here so this whatsapp is not responding now i don't know for some reasons uh, so yesterday i posted nearly 10 opportunities and i made sure i'm covering opportunities for all the batches so please make sure you people also do join this uh, whatsapp channel in case you are looking out for some off campus opportunities right so <clears throat> the link to this whatsapp channel is given in the description please go through it so i'll just exit this because it's not at all responding okay so let's go through this question now so this question today is a uh, grinding geek and it's a medium level question so what is the question saying geeks for geeks has introduced a special offer we all know that uh, where you can enroll in any course and if you manage to complete 90 percent of the course within 90 days you will receive a refund of 90 percent right so in simple words let us assume if i'm investing 10 rupees today on a particular course and i'm buying it uh, and uh, if i do complete it within you know uh, just 90 days so i'll be getting a 90 percent refund so how, how much is 90 percent refund so 10 percent is actually equal to one rupee right so 90 percent in the sense nine rupees so i'll be getting a refund of nine rupees that is what the question is saying so geek was fascinated by this offer the offer was valid for only n days okay for only n days and each day a new course was available for purchase now geek decided that if he bought a course on same day some on some day he will complete the course on the same day itself wonderful is that really possible no but this fellow is an emb embodiment of greediness okay and redeem my floor 90 percent of the cost of the course amount back so this is his master plan in reality it's not going to work but for this question purpose let us assume it's going to work okay so you people don't do all these nonsense things uh <laughs> okay so keep uh, uh, like money is okay money is important but do not do such uh, notorious things right so what is the question saying basically the same thing like if he you know buys a course on a particular day he'll uh, get a uh, 90% uh, you know refund if he completes that so that is basically nothing but floor of 90% of the cost of the course so find the maximum number of courses that geek can complete in those n days if he had total amount initially okay so he has some certain amount and that is known as total initially and now he looks out to like how many courses can he actually buy okay so note on any day geek can only buy the new course that was made available for purchase that day okay so today is monday right so i can only buy a course that is available to purchase on monday or that is that was uh, released today it's not like i can purchase the previous courses like that were released in the previous days like sunday's course saturday's course no i cannot purchase them only the course that was released on a particular day is what i can buy okay so these are some of the examples we'll go through them and the expected time complexities o of n into total spaces uh, of n into total this instead uh, itself says that yes uh, this is a problem of you know recursion and dynamic programming in case if you are not able to come to that conclusion till now uh, so these are the constraints i hope you people have you know at least got some glance about the question now let us go through the question okay so we'll understand through the help of examples so this is the total amount that he has uh, that geek has 10 rupees or 10 something ton units you can uh, you know assume and the total number of days are two and the cost is like this 10 and 9 what does that mean the course on the first uh, mean the cost of the course on the first day is 10 the cost of the course on the second day is 9 like this is on another course this is on another course right so the output is 2 why is that 2 geek can buy the first course for 10 amount complete it on the same date and redeem 9 back isn't it because 90 percent is what i've told so what is 90 percent of 10 90 percent of 10 is actually 9 rupees so that's what he's going to, going to get after day one so because he has told that he'll be completing that uh, the course on the same day itself so he'll be getting 9 rupees back next he can buy and complete the second course too so with the available 9 rupees he can buy this course as well right so finally he has come to the end of this offer sale so till this offer goes on that fellow is on a mission and a vision and a determination to complete all the courses that are going to there in case that money that is available for him to you know uh, per, uh, like for buying the courses there with him okay so in, let us assume if this is not 10 this is some or uh, 20 and he has only 10 can he buy this course no he cannot because he do not have money to buy 20 right so whatever the money he has with that if on that particular day can he buy like he can take or not that's what he needs to come to a conclusion and if he takes a particular course that's that fellow is going to complete that course on that day okay so and he's going to get a 90 percent refund that is the whole scenario i hope you people have understood so 
uh, it's not at all confusing very pretty straight forward to be honest right so how are we going to solve this true recursion question isn't it so pick or not pick so this is an instance of pick or not pick very clearly evident isn't it so if in case like because there are only two you know values here you might be feeling like what is uh, use of recursion here but let's let us assume you have some values like x y z a b c fine many values like that and you have some amount of k now you need to determine like if you take this particular course that means you will be having a cost reduction of how much so k minus x plus 90 by 100 of x this is this will be your overall cost now after you buy this now with this cost you need to uh, decide uh, you need to see if you can buy maximum number of uh, courses from here or not okay so if you not pick this then what will you be uh, will be your cost your cost will still remain k i mean uh, your total your amount that is with you will still remain k but if you consider this course that means your uh, amount will be changed to k minus x plus 90 by 100 into x right i hope i'm making some sense here so that is the reason so if you're taking a particular course you must understand that yes there's a reduction of total amount that's happening to you so with that remaining amount can you take another course or not so your final output is final output is maximum right maximum number of books you want okay max number of books you no, sorry max number of courses you know you need to study maximum number of courses that is your main goal and uh, mission so how are we going to do it so if we just convert this into a recursion tree so this itself you uh, assume like for this kind of example itself so you have total to be 10 okay total to be 10 and your index is 0 so you'll be starting with this right so this will be the two conditions that you'll be starting with so you have total 10 and your index is 0 so what are the two options that are available for you either on jumping into index 1 you take that in index 0 book okay so either you'll be picking this index 0 book so if you pick that index 0 book what would happen so your cost will be 10 minus cost of 0 plus 90 by 100 into cost of 0 right and you will be jumping on index one or what is the other option this is like take option okay take option what if you are not taking the book on index zero that means you'll be having the same cost and you'll be jumping on to index one right so this is not take option this is not take not take this is none now again there are th uh, options here as well so what are the two options here uh, so I, you may consider to take that index one book so if you consider to take that index one book what would happen your cost remaining would be 10 minus cost of zero plus 90 by 100 cost of zero so this was the total overall cost that was there here right on that you apply 90 uh, like uh, they take the 90 percent so what uh, this is the cost right from this you detect the cost of one cost of one and add plus 90 by 100 of cost of one okay cost of one i hope i am not confusing to you people like it's pretty clear so this was the amount available and from that you are taking the cost of one book detecting and then adding plus 90 by 100 so and you are coming to index 2 in case if you are not taking not take not take then this will be 10 minus cost of 0 plus 90 by 100 cost of 0 right and you will be jumping on to index 2 so again similarly there are two cases here as well i hope uh, you people have understood once you have come to index 2 are there any more books to buy no because you, there are only two values right zeroth index and first index once you come to second index there are no more books to buy so you will be returning zero here okay this will be the base case right so once you come to a uh, position where you have got the index uh, value to be the size of the cost area that means there are no more books to buy so you will be uh, returning zero so another important point to note is when will you be considering this take case in case your cost available or total money available okay money available available is greater than or equal to that index cost of index right cost of index in case it's not like your total money is not available uh, then that uh, that is required to buy that particular book then how are you able to supposed to buy it it's not right so for example you have 10 rupees and the uh, cost of the book at uh, the second index let us assume the first index let us assume it is 20 okay first index the cost is 20 rupees and you have only 10 rupees can you do a take case here no you cannot because here it is 20 rupees and you have only 10 rupees you cannot buy it right you cannot take loan and all that's not possible here here there is no money per own gold loan that you cannot take some put some gold and take loan that is not possible here so that's the reason you can only go to the take case in case your money available with you is greater than the cost of that course price right so that is the thing that is what you need to take uh, note of that's it once we are come to, uh, come to the index then we are done 
but this is a brute force approach right this is a complete brute force approach brute force approach why because we are having a uh, two choices for each and everything right so it's basically like two parent so we are having a choice for each and everything each and everything we are having a choice so that's the reason it's a brute force approach and it can go up to you know take a lot of uh, uh, time complexity so what is the best thing so once you're doing this thing it's basically common sense that once you have come to this uh, recursion once you have framed this tree you will be converting this into a memoization okay so memoization or you can do a tabulation uh, like bottom up approach right so you can just convert this so what are we actually discussing what did we actually do first so uh, uh, just a minute okay um, it got zoomed back okay so what did we actually do basically so we are actually having in, we are standing at so we are standing at standing at zeroth index we have standing at zeroth index and have and have total amount of money okay total amount of money total amount of money so this is what we have and now we need to decide how many number of how many number of books number of books okay number of books maximum number of books that we can buy maximum maximum number of books that we can buy that we can buy this is the position okay this is the position now how are we going to convert this into a memoization or tabulation converting into memoization that i'm giving you as a assignment or a task that is pretty easy basic recursion that we have uh, written the recursion tree convert that into that right instead of putting a recursion code store that into some dp vector and do the recursion that's it there's nothing else uh, to be you know worried about if in case you are not able to let me know i'll put that in the comment section okay someone's asked someone asked me and i'm replying that uh, uh, you know code to them so how are we going to you know use the tabulation concept here so what are the two base conditions here so if you can carefully observe like if you are so i'm a, i hope i'm able to make sense what's the dp state that we have declared that if you are standing at zeroth index and have total amount of money how many maximum number of books can you buy so this is what your dp state represents to dp of ij so i is the index that you are standing on and j is the total amount of money with this how many number of books you can buy maximum number of books this is what your dp state uh, says now what is that thing is dp of okay dp of n of j is actually equal to 0 right dp of n of j equal to 0 why am i saying that because when you're standing at n index okay n index in idx is equal to n that means you have come you have completed the cost array there are no more courses available you have come to the end so there are no more whatever amount you have even you have crores of money that you cannot buy any course because there are no courses available so in that is the reason you will be putting zero because if you're standing like let us assume this is the cost array and now you're standing here nth index you have come only n minus one index would be there right but you have come to nth index this is where do you have any courses available here no there are no courses so how many how much crore pati you are it doesn't make any sense because there are no more courses available so we'll be having zero in that case what is the second one dp of zero of uh, j is actually equal to zero sorry 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 not gp of j uh, dp of whatever i it is and uh, zero equal to zero so what does that mean let us now you're not a crore party you're a beggar okay now you're a beggar like you do not have a single rupee with you so you let us assume you're standing on this particular i index okay and you are like this okay you're standing at this particular position now you're looking out to buy some books what but what is the money that you have zero you do not have any money okay you have exhausted all your money so in that case also you'll be having uh, the you know value to be zero so i hope i'm making sense so at the base case like these are the base cases okay these are the base cases so from this only we can you know uh, uh, calculate the other values so dp of nj equal to zero because once you come to the end of the cost array there are no, no more co uh, courses available for you to buy so that is zero and dp of i zero in the sense you have no more money left with you okay so you're poor ultra poor so whatever the index you are standing doesn't make sense if you are that is the case dp of i of 0 equal to 0 so this is the thing that will you know replicate into a matrix okay so how are we going to do it so so this will be a like total cost array total into so if i just you know draw some random uh, matrix like this so this is basically n into total size okay the n into total so these are like n rows n rows these are like total money available to you total money available to you 
total money available so what did i say and this is the nth row okay this is the nth row so what what is the values here that i have told you dp of n of j equal to zero right so whatever the column it is you will be having zero only because there are no more courses available here and what did i say at zeroth column right whatever money you have doesn't make any sense okay whatever the thing i mean sorry not money whatever the index i mean i i, I zero in the sense so whatever the row it is so it may be first row second row third row whatever it is so you'll be having only dp of i zero to be zero only because there is no money what is this column indicating this column indicating no money okay no money you have no money with you so what courses are you going to buy uh, even if you have uh, you know i number of rows i number of in the sense i number of courses available to you but for you to buy but you do not have any money with you how many what will you buy when okay so i hope i'm making sense that's the reason in the first column that is zero now to calculate anything so let us assume i'm uh, trying to calculate dp of ij okay let us assume i'm cali trying to calculate dp of ij what are the two choices available for me what are the two choices available for me either i can take either i can take at the ith course ith index course or not take okay not take if i do not take okay if i do not take what would happen if i do not take i'll be having dp of i plus 1 j only right so this is the thing i not take in the sense i am not going to take the course on the ith index so in that case whatever the number of books i have at i plus 1 j that will be the same number of books at dp of ij as well because i'm not going to take the sorry not books courses i'm confusing that please don't mind so books or courses both will remain the same so dp of i plus 1 j would remain as a dp of ij because number of courses here will be the same here because i'm not going to take the course on the uh, on ith index but if you are actually taking what would happen it would be one plus okay dp of ij would be one plus dp of i plus 1 and because you are taking the course here your total would be total minus cost of i plus 90 by 100 into cost of i right this is the thing isn't it so because you are taking the ith index course because you are taking the ith index course your from your total reduce that cost of i and then add 90% of it okay and now we are going to 9 i plus 1 okay this is the thing so because you are doing the bottom up approach you will be starting from this position and you will be iterating it to your this position what is this denotes this denotes dp of 0 total right this is what you want this is what you want right this is our final goal this is our final goal starting from zeroth index like zero throw uh, and having a total amount of money how many books you going to buy so this is your final goal this is your goal okay this is your goal so that is what we are doing dp of ij depends on two either take or not take if it is a take this is what you'll write if it's not a take this is what you'll write so i have explained everything in grassroot level in including the diagram and the dp state that we have defined the base cases everything everything we have mentioned so there should be no space for any doubts even if you are having any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll help you there okay so i hope this made some sense to you people and that is what we have replicated in the code as well okay so if you can carefully see first we have taken a dp vector of n plus 1 and total plus 1 okay and for int i equal to n i greater than or equal to 0 i minus and j equal to 0 j less than or equal to total j plus plus so this is what we are trying to populate right so at the end of the day we want g zero of total dp of zero of total so starting from zero to index you have a total amount of money how many maximum number of books you can buy that is your goal and for that reason we are starting from the base case or the cases that we know so int i equal to n in the sense that we know at nth row all will be zero and j equal to zero that also we know all will be zero at zero j, j equal to zero dp state would be dp values would be zero now if i equal to n or j equal to zero you put dp of i j equal to zero i have explained why is that so okay so case of crorepati and case of becker so else if it's not the case dp of i j depends on, uh, as two options either it can go to i plus 1 j that is one thing or if the available cost with you means if the available total sorry the total amount of money that you have is greater than or equal to cost i that means you can definitely consider that right you can even you can consider buying that so in that case do dp of ij to be maximum of dp of ij like this is where the take uh, take or not case uh, so plus 1 plus dp of i plus 1 j minus cost of i plus 9 by 9 by you know, uh, 9 into cost i by 10 right so 90% refund so that's the reason we are adding it and this is the cost of i so we subtract acted right so i hope you people have understood and finally return dp of zero total so this is take this is like sorry uh, this is like not take 
not take not take will always be there but only take will only be there if your available uh, money is greater than the cost of it right so that is the reason uh, to basic recursion question only dp dynamic problem classical dynamic problem right i hope you people have understood so that's it guys so if there are any doubts please feel free to comment in the comment section i'll revert back to you also the codes in c++ java python are there in the description go through them and do consider joining the uh, whatsapp channel because it's going to help you a lot even soon we impose i'm going to post some interview tricks tips dsa stuff etc a lot more planning to post so once i got a good number of people on the channel so i'll definitely post it so that's it guys thank you for watching this video and uh, stay tuned